<sighs> All right. Finally at the end of E3. By God, has it been fucking awful so far? Oh, I feel like the one good thing to come out of this was just every. Oh shit! I didn't realize they put up shit for the 14 million campaign. Nice. So what exactly are we getting with this? Login bonus, of course. Hey, Aaron. How's it going? All the Ember quests. I was wondering why it showed the class affinity chart. Commemorative master missions. Two time friend points. Two times chance. Yeah. Present box inventory increased. And then items. The Fate Extel Link quest again. Oh, that's it? And then Nero Bride Summon? That's all we're getting for 14 mil? I mean, I'll take all the free shit. That's fine. I'm fine with that, but. Uh -huh. Kind of upsetting that's all we're getting. Maybe it's not all that exciting to me because I already have Nero Bride, but. I don't know. I guess it's just not fantastic to me. But anyway, I was talking about, uh. We're finally at the end of E3 now, and. God, could it, it not have come soon enough? It's been real. It's been re it's been real dire this year. Let's be honest. Hasn't been that great. Will Nintendo give us something good? Who knows? I just want to see one thing that I'm like super excited for. That's it. My my expectations are so fucking low. I, I don't care who the Smash character is. I I stopped caring a while ago. <laughs> uh, I just want to see something I'll be excited for. That's it. Yeah, I mean, there, there's been some decent stuff that's showed up, but overall, it's just been dire. It's just been nothing, for the most part. I mean, may, maybe someone's found some of the games interesting. In my opinion, no, it's it's been pretty... Uh, Pretty bad. Uh, pretty bad, all in all. <sighs> well, like I said, that's just me. I was to even come up with something out of left field. I don't even know. <laughs> like, that, that's how low my expectations are. I don't even, like, have any, like, wild hopes for what I want. Yeah. Well, I guess there was some kind of cool news yesterday from... What, what, what showcase was that? I don't think it was Future Games. That show was kind of a bust. I forget what show they showed it off during. But I think it's cool they're bringing Rune Factory 4 Special to PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. So that's really cool. So might end up doing the same for uh, Rune Factory 5 as well. Still a little upset that got delayed, but... Oh well.
Yeah, that that was the thing with Capcom. Like they they showed a bunch of stuff that's good, but it's stuff that's already out or that we already knew about. So, like, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that I'm excited for uh what is it? For the greatest attorney. It's cool they're making DLC for Village. But, uh... Yeah, it's nothing we didn't know or assume already. So... They really just had nothing. One thing that kind of got me, though... Again, I forget what showcase it was from. They all, they all kind of blended together the other day. But, uh... I don't know what company was making it. But they're definitely looking for a lawsuit from Nintendo. That one that was either a blatant ripoff of, uh... What is it? A blatant ripoff of Animal Crossing... And then I saw one that was blatant ripoff of Fire Emblem. Like, you guys are just asking for a fucking lawsuit. Like, it's it's not even subtle. Did they spoil a lot? I didn't think they spoiled a lot for Great Ace Attorney. Kind of looks like they're just showing off one case a little bit. Nothing that really uh, seemed spoilery to me. Megan, I haven't played the game, so how the fuck would I know? <laughs> I don't know if it was a major or not. Hey, Antonio, what's up, man? Miss you. Oh, I mean, yeah, totally. Of course we missed you. <laughs> Really? People are complaining? I haven't seen anyone complain about it. If anything, they're just laughing about it. But yeah, no, Sherlock Holmes is copyright. Honestly, I'm, I'm surprised Fate was able to use the name. But no, yeah, that's that, that shit's copyright by uh, Conan Doyle for some fucking reason. Still. <laughs> Think after the man died, maybe that copyright would expire. Nope. Clinging on to that shit from beyond the grave. I mean, it's not like it's a name that came out of nowhere, either. It's a nice reference to, uh, uh, Lupin. my shell search going. Oh, I stopped after I got 24. I really don't give a shit about the other ones. I just want the costume for Barbara. So, no, I got 24, then I promptly stopped. <laughs> Wasn't that bad. Ah, I see. Yeah, I, I've experienced neither of them. They're actually the only Ace Attorney game I've never played or seen anything of. Like, I've never played uh, Spirit of Justice, but I've seen it so many times. 
I don't know why I never played Spirit of Justice for myself. It's really good. Yeah, no, the only ones I haven't seen are, uh, The Great Ace Attorney. I'm excited to play them blind. Gonna show off how bad I- how- exactly how bad I am at Ace Attorney. <laughs> of course they are. I mean, I can kind of understand why Ace Attorney Investigations 2 is never localized. I mean... Wasn't that really towards the end of the uh, 3DS's life cycle? I mean, the DS's life cycle? So I guess it kind of makes sense why they never really localized it. But, uh... I don't know why they're complaining. They have fan translation. And it's damn good. Like, what, what do you need an official translation for? How much time do we have? We have about, uh, 12, 11, 11 12 minutes. If you want to run off real quick, you can. But yeah, we have uh, the direct, which is going to take about 40 minutes. And then it says they're going to do a treehouse afterward with gameplay for the games they show off. So, I'm probably not going to stream the treehouse, but, uh, you know. It's cool to know they're doing it. Oh. I really like Tristan's Final Ascension art. It has the other knights in it. Let's see, Mordred, Betty, Gawain. I'll wait until he gets an upgrade for Harp of Healing. <laughs> Give him fucking quick effectiveness. That'll be nice. Ooh, let me go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back.
I have about five minutes left. <sighs> it's weird. I have a it's like anxious feeling in my chest. Like I I really want there to be something. Like something I'll enjoy, but I know I shouldn't get my hopes up. I don't know, I just can't help it though. Something about Nintendo Direct. Yeah, it is nice to see that all three servants are pretty complimentary to each other. I forget if I talked about it, but I actually rolled uh, Faye Tristan. I think like the second day of the banner. I wanted uh, Gawain, but of course, no, nah, Tristan's the one I got. <laughs> It does. It does seem like Faye Tristan would be more the uh, attacker of those two, since her attack is actually pretty decent. Oh, I didn't use his first skill. I was wondering, like, wait, why didn't that do as much damage as it, damage as it usually does? Right, I didn't have the extra strength against debuffed enemies. Oops. Ah, well, still killed. And I didn't use Raikou's buff either, did I? No, I did. <laughs> Forgetful today. Alright, so we got about two minutes left. So I'm gonna switch on over. I'm gonna bring it up. There we go. Let me unmute it too. All right. Another minute and a half or so until we start. Yes, London is where you're going to find pages, most specifically in nodes with those uh, sentient tomes. I forget who needs pay. I know, uh, I know Tristan needs spikes. So, I hope you have, uh, hope you have, uh, Salem cleared as well. I don't think Faye Gawain's ascension mats are that different than regular Gawain's. But I think you need, uh, chains for her. But I know, I know for Faye Tristan you need uh, Stakes of Wailing Night.
Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I guess you don't have to worry about stakes then. All right, 12 o'clock. Should be starting soon. Let's refresh it real quick. Oh, of course, now I get a fucking ad. Wasting 24 seconds on this fucking ad. I'm, I'm probably going to miss something. Why did I refresh? Up oh, there we go. Twitch system is now in its fifth year, and many people around the world are playing games on it. Nintendo Switch yeah, is being enjoyed a little by boilerplate stuff. players spanning all ages and all levels of gaming experience. Thank you all very much. We've been able to offer a wide variety of games on the system. Not just from Nintendo, but also from our many development and publishing partners. Yes, I'm trying to turn that down a little bit. Each of you watching this Nintendo Direct will be able to find a game that suits your personal tastes. <laughs> Hopefully. Today we have news on upcoming Nintendo yeah, Switch games, me. and we'll be focusing on a selection of games releasing this year. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, to begin, please take a look at this video. All right. Oh, he didn't get the sound. Oh, is this Smash already? Or Ganondorf's body? What? Kazuya? That's out of left field, I guess. Another Street Fighter rep. That is Street Fighter, right? I don't know my fighting games all that well. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm sure people are going to be very upset about this. Falcon 2? Holy shit. <laughs> Man, this is a dark one. I guess the more damage you take, then that state activates. Oh, Tekken. It's Tekken. No! Kazuya, don't you dare. Job, Kirby. All right. So Tekken. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited and the director of the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game. Kazuya I mean, I'm Ishida I'm kind of fighting game lukewarm on that one. Join the battle. So but hey, I'll go over the details at a later date. So he looks cool. Time. For today, though, we've prepared a short video to showcase Kazuya's moves in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Please take a look. <laughs> Interesting to get another fighting game crossover.
Man, everyone's gonna be upset. I'm glad about that. <laughs> that looks fun to play. I know, that would have been so much fun. To have another sword fighter. Well, who knows? I don't know if we're gonna get both... I was thinking about it. I don't know if we're gonna get both fighters today. They might save the second one for later. But, uh... Eh, who knows? I say Kazuya is looking fucking sick, though. This feels like Tekken. <laughs> no, it's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'll talk about the fighter more in a future presentation. We still have to record it first, actually. Oh! Still hasn't even recorded it yet. Alright, the 28th. At 10 a.m. I, like, barely just be getting home from work at that time. Actually, I'm not even going to be home on the 28th. That's when I'm on vacation, I think. Please look forward to seeing how Kazuya, who has experienced many harsh battles across the Tekken series, will fight in this game. Alright, let's continue with our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Alright, let's go. Your choices matter in these emotional, supernatural tales. What are these, Telltale games? Oh, life is really? Oh, those are coming to Switch. I I didn't even recognize the fuck. <laughs> All right, cool. I guess. Life is Strange True Colors launches on Nintendo Switch September 10th. And Life is Strange Remastered Collection comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. There's something for everyone on the Nintendo Switch system. I hope so. You are Star Lord. Oh, this is coming. A legendary band of, oh, of course this is. This Man, I don't want to hear about games I already heard about long enough at Enix's conference, Nintendo. Star Lord's daring combat style and encounter iconic and original Marvel characters. You'll call the shots for the unpredictable Guardians as you face cosmic threats to save the galaxy. You got this, probably. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy blasts onto Nintendo Switch October 26th. Worms everywhere. In this real-time arena-based oh, worms shooter, game. You'll squish your is it arena? Opponents in 32 player cross-platform combat, play in daily challenges, battle modes, hmm. and seasonal events to worm your way up the ranks. Plus, the patchwork bear outfit exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will be available for free for two weeks after launch. A new map, Spaceport Showdown, launches with Worms Rumble, wriggling onto That Nintendo does not look Switch like it June plays 20. very well Get on the Switch. discount when you pre-order the game starting today on Nintendo eShop. The fantastical realm of Orcanon awaits. As you explore this fully hand-painted world, You'll customize a team of demigods and unleash devastating attacks in captivating turn-based combat. Astria Ascending launches on Nintendo Switch September 30th. Return to the funny, oh, charming, two -point campus. quirky world of Two Point County. In the wholesome management sim Two Point Campus, you'll build and run your very own university the way you want it. Lots of creative tools are at your disposal to make the school yours and take your educational empire to the next level. Enrollment for Two Point Campus starts on Nintendo Switch next year. Oh, welcome back, Antonio. You missed the Smash Fighter reveal. Uh, there's the monkey ball thing I saw earlier on Twitter. So yeah, mo monkey ball game. It's cool that monkey ball fans are getting something. 
Yeah, you, you already missed a Smash character, man. Way to go. <laughs> well, at least the dishes are done, huh? Oh, it's a collection of all of the old ones. Yeah, people are gonna like that. Say so they're all remastered. That's pretty cool. Oh, you saw it? <laughs> Your thoughts then? Go bananas win Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Nintendo Switch, October 5th. It's a blast from parties past. And you're invited. Wait, they're actually doing the ready for another round of Mario Party Mayhem? Of course you are. Oh, it's, it's Super Mario collection of Mario Party boards and mini games. Oh, the Oh, okay. Live it up on five classic boards from the Nintendo 64 era, including Peach's birthday cake and So all remastered in the new Super Peach Mario Peach engine. Zany events guaranteed. A new Super Mario Nintendo. Party engine. And when we say zany, we mean it. Jump. It's cool to see the old boards and mini games back. And give facelifts in hilarious over the top mini games, all of which support button controls. Oh man, with 100 mini games from the Mario Party series catalog, you'll have a blast in this all star. So it's just five from the Nintendo 64, yeah, of course. Game modes work with online play. So I guess that's why they rolled out that for Super Mario Party. You can randomly match with other party goers worldwide, playing a board game online with friends, save your progress mid game. Grab a snack, then resume the festivities. Stickers are also available to communicate with others. It's time hmm. to party in Mario Party Superstars, launching on the Nintendo Switch system. That's October pretty cool. Pre-orders begin today <laughs> on Nintendo eShop. At least Kirby was able to escape Kazuya. Think? Before we show this next trailer, I'd like to say one thing. Oh. Currently, we're working hard on the latest game in the Metroid Prime series, Metroid Prime 4. Yep. Which we previously announced. Yep. But today, we'd like to introduce another new entry in the Metroid franchise. Please take a look. Okay. New Metroid. <laughs> That's not Prime 4 <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, if I... oh, shit, it's a fusion remake. Or no, it's just Metroid 5. Or it was Metroid 5 Fusion. Is this remake of Fusion? Because that's the Fusion suit now. I don't know much about Metroid. And Mario Party 2 is fun. I might get that one. Creepy spite. Ah, this one's 2D. Cool. A enemies chasing you that you can't kill. That looks fun. <laughs> Metroid Dread. Jesus. Yeah, there's the fusion suit. say it's the same one as a uh, I guess the same company that Metroid Returns did or that did Metroid Returns oh you have an ally robot too Oh, and this one actually has a release date. <laughs> that, was the that does actually look pretty good. New 2D 
At least Metroid fans get something to eat today. The brand new Metroid Dread game. As the name Dread implies, this is a Metroid game with a new feel showcasing a variety of threats that Samus will encounter. It's scheduled to be released on October 8th, so it won't be too long until launch. On that yeah, only same four day, months. We'll also oh, a new amiibo. Amiibo figures for Samus and the Emmy, the robot seen in the video. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. These familiar franchises Ooh, are stuff's Switch. coming back. What do we got, familiar friend? Hey. Why'd I get excited? Why'd I get ex My opinion on FE announcements? It'd be cool to see a, a new FE game. I'd even be cool with seeing a second wave of DLC for Fire Emblem Three Houses, but I doubt it's gonna happen. <laughs> Hit the dance floor in Just Dance 2022, launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. I don't know who like any of those people were. The arcade smash hit Cruisin' Blast is speed. Never heard of this. Is this a familiar franchise or a franchise? over the top tracks. Up to four players can race together, so pick your favorite vehicle. Since I was just dance. Seems like it. Cruisin' Blast launches as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this fall. That was it. It's the ultimate Dragon Ball Z experience. Oh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Relive the story of Goku and other Z fighters through four sagas in this action RPG. Saiyan, protect the Earth from an invasion by Vegeta and Nappa. Frieza, take a stand against the evil Emperor. Cell, battle the androids in a fight to the death. Majin Buu, an epic showdown with the most fearsome foe. Along with the main story, you can explore the vast world of Dragon Ball Z. Hey, why not help out the locals? Or collect ingredients for delicious meals. You could always train to acquire new skills, too. There are lots of things to keep you busy. The boss battle episodes, A New Power Awakens, parts of course one it is. Because they churn those m out Ball mindlessly Z every year. Plus, a New Power Awakens set punches its way onto Nintendo Switch September 24th. Grab a golf club All right, Mario Golf. Already excited for this one. It's later this month. Actually, I think that's next week. Here's a quick glimpse into each of the modes. Standard golf. Take your time to read the wind and terrain on the greens. Get different types of shots and aim for under par. Nice birdie. Speed golf. Smack your ball, then chase after it. Be the first to get your ball in the hole. Outpace your rivals with special dashes and special shots. Battle golf. Battle golf. Do get out over nine flag marked holes in an obstacle filled arena. Capture three flags to win. Golf adventure. Jesus. Go from rookie to pro with your me character. The golfing challenges that await. Oh shit, you can skip the ball in the water. Yo. And Frip. Hey, new donk. release, including additional courses and playable characters. Battle golf in New Donk City. So set your tee time and get ready to ace those shots in I do too. Super Rush. Swinging onto the It's cool they're adding new courses and characters post launch though. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, that's next week, all right. Oh, not next week exactly, but for the ride of a lifetime? yeah. And then Monster Hunter, we've already seen this a lot. Welcome to the vast and vibrant world of Monster Hunter. As a rider in this RPG adventure, you'll explore diverse landscapes by riding your monster, a monster companion. Gather materials such as honey and ore, then use them to craft items for your journey. But beware of the many monsters roaming about. Some are docile, but others may suddenly ambush you. To fight, you'll team up with your monster and use weapons and skills to overwhelm enemy monsters and turn-based oh. win, and you'll be rewarded cool, with their materials. Cool, that's turn-based. Which can be forged into new weapons and armor. Hey, 
Is that an egg? You might be able to hatch a new monsty. Incredibly powerful monsties can also hatch from rare eggs. Need more traveling buddies? Join up with friends for co-op multiplayer quests and battles. Buckle up, Ryder. It's going to be a real monster of an adventure. <laughs> yeah. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin soars onto Nintendo Switch July 9th. You can play the free demo. Well, we're halfway through already. It's been 20 minutes. Well, they started a little late, so. Here's a new game from the <gasps> of the Oh my god, a new WarioWare game! Yes! <laughs> and it's a voice too! What do you mean? Who am I? Yes! Alright, I'm excited about this. Finally ready. A brand new game from my company. Check it out. You get to control me. Time to do this. <laughs> Look at me go. What? Rats. Check out these chunks. They came back. <laughs> they have wonderful new talents. Oh, these look cool. Throw that stick thing. Hmm, not the bad. Use the spinny, what you might call it. Ha! Nailed it. Same micro game, different abilities. Huh. Wah, I almost forgot some big news. Two people can play together at the same time. So play nice, or else. <laughs> eh? Not nice. All right, you. Guess you, the one watching this, better get ready for some micro game mayhem. <laughs> the WarioWare Get It Together game launches exclusively on the Nintendo Switch system September 10th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I'll probably end up getting that. What you just saw was the trailer for WarioWare <laughs> together. Thanks, Koizumi. In the latest installment of this series, there are new micro games that let you control Wario and his friends. There is also a two player co op mode, which greatly expands the gameplay. It's releasing in the near future, so stay tuned. Char Char Please Charles Martinet is always good, though. Yo, SMT5, let's go! Student living in Tokyo. Your life is Let's fucking go. You see, th this is the shit we wake that up for. Is upended after you get pulled into a different dimension. All I want is a release name, please. <laughs> Another Tokyo exists. A post-apocalyptic world where angels and demons reside. Suddenly, you fuse with a mysterious figure, gaining the power to fight demons. What lies ahead in this alternate Yo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The world is transformed into a sprawling demon infested wasteland. Yo, this looks cool. Many are hostile. Oh shit, Suchigumo. Yo, look at this. Harness your newfound powers to fight demons using And it's press turn. System. Finding their weak point is key. By targeting it, the number of consecutive actions Yo. you can perform in a combo will increase. The this looks sick. Opponents. <laughs> you may be able to recruit them via negotiations, which begin oh. when you open a conversation with them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I am so into this. This looks so if good. The negotiation is successful. A demon will become a powerful ally. When? Only question is when. In some cases, Look at that old Meraki. Rejecting a demon's request. <laughs> they may feel motivated and join yeah. as an ally. F that's demon negotiations, all right? That do join will fight alongside you and grow stronger. Yo, it 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 seriously is Tokyo Mirage <laughs> sessions looking. Wow. A demon can be created. Demons' innate abilities will vary 
Yo. Look at Jack Frost. You're always looking good. No, it, it comes out this year. It's supposed to. Yo, some of these demons look really good. I love the Protag's fusion design. November 12th! Exclusively on Nintendo Switch, November 12th. Yes! For the physical version begin June 21st. That was the latest trailer for Shin Megami Tensei yes! from Atlas. This is the newest game in the series. Please look forward. I am 100% sold already. See a few more it looks Switch so good. Oh shit, and Danganronpa on the Switch! Yo! Look at this shit! I'm, you know, this seems like it would it should have happened a long time ago. But hey, Danganronpa on the Switch! Decadence. Oh, all three of them! The self-proclaimed school head. That's pretty cool. You and other high school students in a game of literal life and death. The VN trilogy on the uh, switch. That's not too bad. Is to betray the other students. And so it begins. A body has been discovered. When a student meets their demise, a class trial will take place to reveal the culprit. You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? Tony, I had no idea. They probably moved the body there. Use the evidence you've At least they're not showing off anyone who died. Find the guilty party. Sneak attack. No, Wait, what is this? What? What is that? The board game from Donkin Rampa V3 Killing Harmony has been expanded into a standalone game. Yo? Donkin Rampa S Ultimate Summer Camp. Can I just buy that? Cast of characters from the Donkin that looks Rampa sick. Will come together to battle at a tropical resort. Who's the strongest of them all in this ultimate beach brawl? Oh, and there's like events with them. All right, so launches as a physical exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Physical exclusive. All four games will also be individually... Okay, available. they're individual. Alright, I'm buying that, uh, Ultimate Summer Camp game. Because th that that shit looks good. Hope you're not afraid of ghosts. And it looks like they have, like, the Ultra Despair characters in there, too. There's, like, actual CG events between them. That looks so good! That's exactly what I want. I will happily buy that. You'll uncover the mysteries the ethereal, but so... Believed to be at the center of many disappearances. Wait, is this Fatal Frame? Ghosts frequent this mountain. Your only defense is a camera that can reflect. Yeah, it is Fatal Frame. Cool. All right, so yeah, I think we can say easily Nintendo sa saved the conference. I mean, I was kind of at on Kazuya, but he looks cool. Yeah, I fucking loved that board game in V3, especially to see it fucking expanded. Like I am, I am super into that. More events, more more events, more interactions between the characters. Throwing in the uh, Ultra Despair Girls characters too. Like, oh, that's so good. All right, Doom Eternal. Deeper and more challenging combat awaits as you eliminate Hell's newest threats in demon infested ruins and rain swept terrain. The fate of the cosmos is in your hands. Get slaying when this campaign expansion launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, today. Oh, shit. Is that Get Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2? Games fully remastered in HD. Skate to era-defining jams as the legendary Tony Hawk and a roster of new mm. and returning pros. Take your sessions on the go with all the original Alright, cool. And compete locally or online to show off your tricks against other skaters. Oh, Nintendo fans go fuck themselves. They're all up their own asses anyway. This is a fucking incredible direct. You kidding me? This is everything I wanted to see. 
After 4,000 years, Sateki, the Witch Queen, has risen from the dead. And only one group of heroes can stop her. Hmm. The Strange Brigade. In this thrilling adventure, you'll blast through an army of mummified monstrosities while solving puzzles in booby-trapped dungeons. Go it alone or team Shoot with puzzle with gun. In local wireless co-op and online play. Honestly, I'd say third party is the best part. The I'm more excited about third party day, stuff than first party day, stuff, honestly. <laughs> It's a new adventure yeah, I, I figured they were going to show off Mario and Rabbids, too. Mario and his friends will team up with the Rabbids once again to restore order to the galaxy. Our heroes must stop a mysterious... Only one hope for five? What would that be? Chaos. No crash. <laughs> Me too! I hope for that, too. Atlas, fix your fucking game. Explore planets filled with quirky residents and even quirkier secrets. <laughs> And in this fresh take on the tactical genre, our heroes can run freely around the battlefield. Oh, so it's not locked to a grid this time. God, so rabid Luma. With a little help from your friends. I don't know how to feel about that rabid Luma. That weird rabid. This is going to be one heck of a galactic adventure. Mario plus rabbits, Sparks of Hope, launches into space or onto Nintendo Switch next year. What is that? Oh my god, that's Advance Wars! <gasps> the original one remade. Holy shit! Fucking Advance Wars! <laughs> wow. Complete remake of Advance Wars 1. That is insane. <laughs> Man, people are going to be happy about that. Thrilling stories, memorable characters, and vibrant gameplay are in store as you lead the commanding officers to victory. Two advance wars oh, the first two. Advance wars one plus two reboot camp. Marching on to Nintendo Switch this holiday. Pre Shit, that's pretty cool. On Nintendo e -shop. <laughs> that's definitely out of that left field. All right. This next segment will be our last announcement of the day. Please take a look. Really? Last? Last already? Oh, really? The Breath of the Wild DLC? Or Age of Calamity DLC? That's what we're spending the rest of the day on? Really? A gar- a playable guardian? Doesn't that seem a bit, uh, overpowered? What am I talking about? It's a Warriors game. Holy shit, look at that chew. Pulse of the Ancients. I say, we're not spending the whole rest of the conference on just that, are we, Aonuma? Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you've just seen is a trailer for the first wave of DLC for the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity expansion pass from Koei Tecmo Games. It will follow Link and his allies through more battles that took place 100 years I don't know, I didn't play it. <laughs> to the events of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I hope you'll look forward to it. I have a few more things to share with you all today. All right, so it's gonna be a bunch of Legend of Zelda stuff to end. We'll begin with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD game, which launches. Do we need to hear more about this? You'll immerse yourself in the role of Link by using two joy. Hey, yeah, unicorn, what's up? And he wants to play our. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe people will come back to it with the DLC. I guess. The stick and button only controls. <laughs> this game depicts Who knows? the oldest era in the Legend of Zelda series. <laughs> The story of how it all began. What is the origin of the Master Sword? 
Why did a woman named Zelda become the legend for future generations? These will all be unraveled in this game. <laughs> we hope you're looking forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Yeah, let me guess, something about Breath of the Wild 2 maybe? Next up. Really? Here's a little something you might like. This I is doubt. a Game & Watch system that lets you play three <laughs> I... games in the Legend of Zelda series. This year, the original Legend of Zelda game reaches its 35th anniversary. While we don't and have this is how... campaigns or other Nintendo Switch games planned, <laughs> we've been working on... <laughs> That's it! System. That's what you get for the 35th anniversary! This fucking Game & Watch! ...on the earliest days of The Legend of Zelda. It will come with the first game in the series... Wow... Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. That's kind of... And the Game Boy version of the... That Link seems kind of disrespectful. As well as a special version of the Game & Watch title Vermin, starring Link as the playable character. So that's four games on one system, from longer Legend of Zelda games to the pick-up-and-play game Vermin. In addition, regarding the watch functionality for the Game & Watch system, We've added a playable clock based on The Legend of Zelda. And an interactive timer themed after Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Yeah, one of those is in the actual Zelda game. Both of them by taking control of it's the skin of a Game & Watch game. We hope you'll enjoy playing this Game & Watch system whenever and wherever you'd like. Man. That's, uh... Alright, here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Two years have passed since we first announced this game. Yeah. And unable to share anything with you in that time. <laughs> However, development has Ooh. been steadily progressing. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a, a look. A bit more? You mean like the game? What, is it going into Skyloft? Huh. What the fuck? An arm. next year so what did you think and this that's around, it the setting for the adventure has been expanded to include the skies above hyrule we'd like to ask you to wait a bit longer we're aiming for a 2022 release so i hope you'll look <laughs> the trailer backwards <laughs> there you go how was that that's all for this nintendo direct all right we are diligently continuing development on a number of other games we didn't show today. I hope you'll continue looking forward to what's in well, store on Nintendo Switch. All in all, not bad. A lot of stuff that I like. So I'm pretty happy with it. All in all, not terrible way to end E3. Finally, we have a release date for SMT5. I could not be more happier about that. I'm Doug Bowser. Ah, uh, another start in the uh, and I'm here with treehouse. Dildorf, who leads our treehouse team. As you know, at Nintendo, we're all about creating experiences that deliver surprises. The Mario Party game looked good too. And I have to say, 
I found myself smiling through that entire presentation. <laughs> Thinking All right, about Doug. How many unique games we'll be able to share with everyone in the weeks and months ahead. Nate, that last clip was incredible. So many questions. Where do we start? Yeah, really, I'd say SMT5 was the highlight of the show here. Mysterious red tendril. You know what a massive <laughs> Zelda fan I am. Um, Still can't believe fucking Advance Wars is back. That's insane. All the games that are in the pipeline just over the next couple of months. Oh, Switch. I almost forgot about the Danganronpa thing, too. Yo, I'm buying that summer camp game whenever I can. That that shit looks cool as hell. I, I'm super excited for that. And of course, Metroid Dread. Yeah, Nintendo blew every other fucking conference out of the water. That's okay. I think I may be in the same camp. And Mario Golf Super. That's insane. In just a few weeks on June the 25th. By the way, Nate, do you know why Luigi brings two pairs of pants to the golf course with him? Doug, are we doing the dad joke thing again? We are. Oh, Doug. in one. But seriously, everyone, this game is just packed with content. You can play in standard <laughs> golf mode, but then there's also speed golf, battle golf, the golf adventure. Oh, right. I forgot about WarioWare, too. Or motion controls. And That's going to be fun. Four people locally or online. I can say this one is definitely going to be taking up the and got that new Metroid game. game. Yeah, you'll, you'll need both. Um, and there's plenty more to come. Um, and as for today, our E3 show is just getting started. Um, next up, we, have, of course, have Nintendo Treehouse Live. All right, I think I'm going to turn this off First now. Uh... Very special guest, Yoshio Sakamoto, who is the producer of Metroid Dread. All right, so they're going to be playing Metroid Dread. So I'm going to skip back over to my FGO. Worms is clearly the highlight. Yeah, that, that game looks like it was running suboptimally. Yeah, that that's the one. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, they showed some pretty good stuff today. Honestly, I'd say that uh, the fighter reveal for Kazuya came pretty out of left field. I don't think anyone expected Kazuya from Tekken to be the fighter, but I'm not upset about it. He looks fucking sick as hell. Yeah, exactly. That, that happens to me with every single direct. Like, you get shown so much shit, you forget about stuff, then remember it like, oh my god, that happened! Don't forget, just dance. Shut the fuck up about just dance. Who gives a shit? Find me one person who actually gives a shit about just dance. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm very, uh, very satisfied with this conference. That that was easily the best part of E3. <laughs> My God. Yeah, no, the, the, this one knocked it out of the fucking park. Um, I'm excited for a lot of stuff they showed. Honestly, I think even more so than 5, I might be more excited for that fucking Danganronpa board game. Just because I want to see the expanded events that they have between the characters. Because honestly, that that's probably my favorite part of it. I mean, you know, t take everyone away from the killing game. No one dies. Just just smiles and laughs all around. <laughs> God, those poor fucking kids. Except Kokichi, he can go fuck himself. <laughs> eh. Yeah, I mean, no Effie, but did they really need to? Like, they, they had enough bangers without Fire Emblem. <laughs> that, that, that can wait for another time, honestly. Yeah, no, th this was definitely the highlight of E3. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching some reactions after this. Uh, ooh, that... You know, I keep forgetting today's Tuesday. I have to go for my blood infusion in, like, another... Two hours? <laughs> oh, well. Eh, that usually doesn't take too long. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I'll spend the rest of the day doing. Then tomorrow I'll get to work on uh, recording shit again. <laughs> Alright, uh, hey, thank you guys for coming out and watching this with me. It's been a blast. Uh, I'm going to go get on with my day now. And I hope every one of you has a great day. And everyone has something they're looking forward to. Uh, 
I don't know when I'm going to be streaming next. Definitely not in the next two weekends, because I'm going away this weekend, and I'm, I'm on vacation from work next week. So I'm probably just going to be, uh... I'm probably just going to be watching... I'm probably just going to be... Working on videos next week a little bit. Well, for what time I'm home, anyway. I'll, I'll let you guys know when I uh, go to stream again. Probably next stream I'll pick up with uh, Yakuza 0. Hey, it's been a while. What, it's been uh, four months since I last played? <laughs> Yikes. Alright. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you guys around. Bye.